I'm Lara and Karis. this is Karis. She is my four-year-old and we are going to show you some of our favorite books for little tiny babies up through young toddlers. So our favorite baby and toddler books. The first one is our hush to book. This comes in a bunny or an owl version. I'm partial to the bunny version. I think it's a little, um, super cute. There's a, there's a daytime side and a nighttime side. Yes, there's a daytime side and a nighttime side. And it's all fabric. It's very soft. It's a great uh -huh. little bedtime story. So, yeah, and a bunny, like, goes to bed. We don't have to show them all the pages of every book. I We're just giving them an idea of it. So this is um, not only a great baby book for your baby, it's also a great um, baby shower gift. Oh my gosh, can you imagine this topping a package? It would be super cute. Um, really, really sweet soft book. And then as you can, I don't know if you heard, there's um, textures in the feet and then the ear has te uh, fuzzy texture, so there's fun things and, for the baby too. And there's too. Velcro. And there's Velcro so it can stay shut. Yeah. The next book I'm gonna talk about is our Big and Little box set. This one I am talking about because it is actually one of my two-year-old's favorite books. I was really surprised we got it and I was like, oh, it's cute, but I didn't think it was gonna be anything that special to her. But she absolutely loves it. You need to hold it up so that they can see. So the first one we could do a polar bear. And then we'll just, I'll just say there's, it comes with four little books, two mommy baby pairs and two daddy baby pairs. Um, and you can see that they're smaller sized. Each one kind of goes through the um, pairs the day that the pair of animals uh, goes through. There's a polar bear one, a, a chick, an elephant one, a chicken one, and a dolphin one. Whale one. So um, this is really cute. My daughter loves it. This is the big and little box set for small books um, that they love. And I'm going to a party tonight. We are going to a party tonight. The next one I'm going to talk about is our finger trail book. This one comes in two versions. Um, there's our garden version or our cat and dog version. Both of them have finger trails. Finger trails, um, if I uh -huh. angle the book, you might be able to see, are these grooves that are cut into Wait, the... Me... Yeah. Um... <laughs> We love these books, so sometimes when my sister's going to bed and she reads this book or the other book, um, I kind of like steal it and trail it. <laughs> she likes to do the trails too. Mm -hmm. um, so as you can see, the, tra the finger trails are these grooves that are cut into the paper for them to trace with their fingers. And these are great for fine motor skills. Um, they also have, um, the dog book at least, also has some uh -huh. flaps well. and textures and cutouts. And I'm going to go to a page. And, and now the, the leash is cut out. And I can see the like, little cutouts. Um, so this one, the finger trails are textures. And they're, they're not little groups. Flaps. And then they have little flaps. So these are really great for um, just the little guys. Here's the garden one. Um, this one has similar things. There's You can see the finger trails, yeah. the flaps. Uh -huh. Um, this one doesn't have as many textures as the other one does, but it does have um, the same kind of varied finger trails. Like this is um, a raised glittery page. I don't know if you can see it in the um, light. All right, the next one I'm going to talk about are our slide and see books. These are our all-time favorite books of uh, the toddler age. My two and a half year old yeah. takes this everywhere with her. She uses it in the car. We actually just had to go to the ER with her. And she took it to the ER and uh, was and, reading and it. And then, like, you can, like, say, where's the monkey? And then there's one in it, and then there's three, and then there's a whole bunch. As you can see, when she slid it back and forth, the monkey hides and comes out. And every page has a little sliding activity like that. Um, this one, you wake up the animal, the spider hides. Um, it also has finger trails and... Um, other fun stuff for them to, to uh -huh. explore as and well. And you can see that they're all green and all blue, but when you um, stick the ton out, it'll change to orange and red. Yep, so that's finger tra um, animals slide and see. This one also comes in um, under the sea and farm, and then there's a dinosaur one coming out as well that I'm really excited about. And the next one we could do is the block um, books. The block books. These are our tiny treasures. They come in wild animal world, farm animal world, count to a, um, I can count, and um, first 100 words. Uh -huh. 
we have to keep it up so that they can keep seeing. Um, so when you open these up, this is a really sturdy, nice um, cardboard box that closes with a Velcro closure. And then you can see inside there are nine, here, we gotta books. keep it up, nine little tiny books. These are teeny, teeny, tiny, see? chunky books. Uh -huh. And the great thing is, as you can see, they're uh, square shaped, so kids can use them to stack. Can you just hold it flat so I can show stacking? Um, kids can use them to stack. Then the other fun thing that they can do is they have to match when they're putting them back, match them to the animal that is in the case. Yeah. And putting them back is great fine motor skills. Yeah. And they as can well. like mix it up. Yeah, Kara's like mixing it up sometimes. But um, each page talks about the animal, and these are more favorites of ours. We take them with us all the time. Sometimes I'll just throw a couple of the little ones in my purse if I don't have a lot of room, but they're fantastic. Um, we go to soccer games and all the little kids come and play with them from you know six month old babies to up through, my four year old loves playing with them as you can see. So this is um, our tiny treasure set. Wild Animal World, Farm yeah, Animal and World, we have, I Can Count, we or have the First Farm 100 Farm Animal words. and this one. Um, for little teeny tiny babies, our black and white books are, um, are fantastic. You can see it's, this is it's one kind of them. Like a little big. This one folds out, and the thing that's amazing about this is you can fold it out for tummy time. We have to be able to see our eyes, baby, when we're doing the video. Uh, it folds out for tummy time, and then the other side is actually colorful. So when they get a little bit older, they and they can see colors better, you can use the other side. Um, but then you can also read it like a book too. Um, my two-year-old, again, loved this. Again, I thought it would be way too young for her when we got it. I was just giving uh -huh. it as a sample, and the but next she absolutely I loves it. This comes in um, under the sea. It comes in counting. It comes with, um, this one's a little bit different in that both, page, all of the pages have a little bit of color. And, and, a bit of and the and next one we're gonna do is the mermaid, this and now my mermaid. So you can see this and now my mermaid, and then there are all different kinds of mermaids. Yep, and this this is our That's <laughs> Not My series. Yeah, there are and probably, I love it. I love it. There are probably 40 or 50 different versions of this book. Um, mermaid, meerkat, elephant, duck, pirate, princess, um, just tons and tons of different ones. Um, and each page has a different texture. So the front cover is fluffy. And monsters. Yeah, there's yeah. monsters. Yeah, so this is not my monster. Why do I even bother? And, and like, um, like, if you had a book, this is really soft and the chrome is like really straight. And it has Bobbly. Dots. And then, and then this mommy tail is like... Too scaly. Yeah. So and each page has a different texture. Um, the illustrations, as you I saw, know. are really bold and bright, and they've got those thick and black outlines that are great for mermaid. babies. And um, the other thing that's awesome yeah. about these books is, are the repetitive um, phrasing, the that's not my blank, it's blank is two, and then an um, adjective. And then the wait, next... wait, 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 I'm not done. So uh, that repetitive text is really great for um, increasing literacy in little kids. Can I for this one? Yep. So our next book is I Want to Be an Astronaut. There are two versions of that. There's oh. Astronaut and Lion Tamer. This one goes through kind of extreme animal jobs like exotic bird breeder. Go let your sister in. Okay. Let, let go. I will, I will be right back. Um, exotic bird breeder, zookeeper, and it talks a little bit about the job and um, that the child wants to do this. This is amazing for imagination and Introducing kids to some fun jobs, but really the imagination is just awesome. And then, and this is the awesome one. We usually don't read this, but this is amazing. <laughs> like, say, I want to be a race car and I want to be a pilot, a fighter pilot, a pie, a fire pie, and a spy. Uh huh, and a spy. Okay. And then I want to be like, uh, diving okay, and... <laughs> so that book is great for imagination. Honey, we've got to move on to the next one. Otherwise, our video is going to be too long. This is our colors playbook. We've got colors playbook, animals playbook, uh -huh. farm playbook, um, which we don't have. Um, but we do have the animals one and the colors one. These are fantastic. They have a little bit of everything. They've got textures. 
they've got finger trails, they've got um, cutouts. Every, um, you can see here, here's a yeah. finger trail, and this here's is texture. Fabric. There's, yep, yeah, there's Velcro right there. Yeah. Um, there's yeah. flaps in here. And, and this is like squishy. Okay, sit down. It went in, in this <laughs> little flaps. I think I've been upstaged by my four year old. And there's like little flaps and this is really cool because this is like a real boat. <laughs> so this is the colors playbook. Each page is a different color. And again, they these playbooks are awesome because they have a little bit of everything to keep kids busy. And the next one is <gasps> make it. This is our Flippy Floppy Animals book. This comes in Ocean Farm or um, Jungle. Uh -huh. and, and we have the jungle one and the ocean one, as you can see. And so th these things are going to turn into store so you can see like all different kinds of things. And then the next page is like, wait, there's a mummy one that I'm going to show you. <laughs> so hang on. <laughs> While she's looking for the mermaid page, I'll quickly try to go over a couple other ones. Um, this is Animal Hide and Seek. You can see it's pretty large. Um, this one has different Got textures it. and, wait, let me just finish this, and different flaps. And you go through the book and you are finding these animals that are hidden behind the flaps. It's also a counting book. There's um, one cow, two pigs, etc., etc. Um, the other thing that's fun with this one is it's a Stephen Cartwright book, which uh, means that every single page has a little hidden duck on it and here you can see it's there so that adds another fun element for kids i'm now gonna let her show you the mermaid page while i check on my two girls who just ran outside uh, and so this is like a this is gonna change in an octopus you see the mermaid and behind it and uh it like changes like to big one and the ducks. So that's what and they like like my mom said there are lots of different kinds of these. So and now when my mom finished I'm gonna show you matching and changing. So the so the first one of these, like you can see they're like a matching and this is like Pea Princess and the dog Peppa. And so there's, there's like um, a thing, there's a fairy princess and whoever's a big fan of mummies, there's a mummy one which I love, and then there's like each different kinds, mummy, friend, deep sea, and like there's also um, hang on, there's um, there's a night one, like a crocodile one, and like a muscle one, <laughs> and there's ever a. Uh, a fan of like matching and matching, like they can like flip these cutouts. And mix so, and match. Uh huh. And the next book we have is this is my first word book about me. Uh huh. And this is a great book for building vocabulary. Uh huh. And okay, hang on. And, and like who, whoever, whoever's. Like learning to read, it can like sound us out like duh. Yeah. So it's great for learning out. And like, there's all different kinds of things like, like house, uh, kitchen. And then in the last book I'm trying is um finding so this is like a great book to kids and you can also make up like i spy or things and this is like a thing to one and 
This this is the last book and like how many books are they? And like they're like houses and each one is like a little hand. So like he's going on. You said like as much as the teenager from nineteen. So thank you. I hope you have a great day. Bye.